Hey guys, so I'm on a website called Hacker Rank, and Hacker Rank presents you with different challenges, and they are basically just problems that you can solve uh, using code. It's good for practicing your programming skills. So here I'm doing a challenge called Kangaroo by uh, Wenbo. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but um, basically this is the premise. It says there are two kangaroos on an x-axis ready to jump in the positive direction. The first kangaroo starts at location x1 and moves at v1 jumps and the second kangaroo starts at location x2 and moves at a rate of v2 meters per jump so we're going to be giving a input in the input formats here it's going to give us x1 v1 x2 and v2 uh, they give us a few constraints here um, and then our output is going to print yes or it's going to print no so um, they even give us a nice little note. Note the two kangaroos must land at the same location after making the same number of jumps. So here's the actual example. They give us Z, I mean, sorry, 0, 3, 4, and 2. So 0 is our X position, our X1 position. 3 is our jump for V1. 4 is our X2 position. And 2 is our jump for V2. And the sample output is yes. So we're giving this input, we give this output, and they give an explanation as to why it's yes. So here we have those same two uh, uh, kangaroos. So kangaroo one starts at position x1, so we see that in our input file here, and then it jumps at a rate of three meters. So v1 is equal to three, so you're gonna see zero, three, six, nine, twelve. And now our second kangaroo starts at position 4. So we see it starts position 4 here. And it jumps at a rate of 2 meters. So it goes 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we notice that after 4 jumps, we print yes because on the 4th jump, they both are in the same position, both kangaroos, which is 12. Now, they give us another example here. And... We still have the same input, well, not the same input um, numbers, but the same formatting. So this is our x1, our v1, our x2, and our v2. And our, now the sample output is uh, no. And they give an explanation for this as well. It says the, can the second kangaroo has a starting location that is uh, ahead of the first kangaroo. And it also has a, a faster rate than the first kangaroo. So they say that the um, the first kangaroo will never catch up to uh, the second kangaroo. And so just so I can make sure you understand that, for that input, I'm going to copy this. Put example. Let's see. So the first kangaroo is going to start at 0, and it's going to go 0, 2, uh, 4, 6, 8. I think that should be enough. And let's see here. The second kangaroo starts at position 5 and increments by 3. So 5, 8, 11. Um, 14 and what you can see is you can see that the difference here is getting greater first the difference between the positions was 5 then the position uh, difference is 6 and then 7 and then um, 8 here I'm guessing the next one's going to be 9 uh, so that's another 3 so 17 so yeah 9 so you can see that it keeps increasing so uh, they will never be in the same position uh, after the same amount of jumps. Okay, so let's actually write that up. Let's say if x2 is greater than x1 and v2 is greater than v1, then print no. So let's go ahead and write that if encode. 
let's see if x2. Oh, and I, I should say that um, they already wrote some of the code here for us. Um, here they're giving us, or they're scanning the input. They're scanning x1, v1, x2, and v2. So I just want to make that clear if you didn't notice. And they want us to fill in basically the blank. If we were to run the code right now, uh, we just get errors. So I run the code. You can see I'm just getting errors. Expected yes. Um, it didn't get anything. No response from the output. And here expected no. You got no response from the output. And it's giving us this input up here. So let's go back here. Okay, so if x2 is greater than x1 and v2 is greater than v1, then we want to print no. Else, else one of these two conditions are not true. I want to basically loop through every point until they match. So up here, they kept they kept looping through until they got a match here. So that's what we want to do. We want to loop through um, all the positions till we get a match. So um, that's going to be while the position at x2 is greater than x1. So until they actually meet, I want this to keep going and running. So x2 is greater than x1. Um, and I want to update their position each time. So x2's new position is going to equal x2's old position plus its jump. And then same for x1 with update its position. It's going to equal its old position plus its jump. And then we want to check are the positions the same. So now is x2 equal to x1? If it is, then we want to print yes. Um, but if if x2, I'm sorry, if x1's position goes past x2's position, then we know that they'll never meet. So I'm going to put that statement. If x1 is now, um, is now greater than x2's position, then they'll never meet. And we'll print f no. And if this case ever happens, then um, of course it'll automatically exit out this loop. But I'm going to put a break here. And I think that should do it. So let's give it a run. Okay, perfect. So for this test case, it print yes, expect it yes. For this test case, it printed no, it expected no. Perfect, we got the two right. Um, let's submit the code and let's try all the test cases. Perfect. All right, so it looks like everything worked fine. Um, so thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I plan on putting some more up and just coding. See you guys on the next video.